Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk to you about leaky gut and some of the uncommonly talked about causes. Leaky gut, also known as intestinal permeability, is a condition where the mucosal lining of the intestines, which is made up of an epithelial layer of junction proteins, so small proteins as well as mucus, is permeated. It is injured, which allows toxins, pathogens, bacteria, and even food particles to bypass the mucosal lining or the intestinal wall, which gets into the bloodstream, triggering a host of inflammatory and immune responses. So there are a few specific contributing factors that have been well documented to contribute to the leakiness of the gut or the permeation of the intestinal barrier. But at the tail end of all of these contributing factors is a hormonal environment that is unfavorable to good intestinal health and actually contributes to the degradation or the destruction of not just the intestinal wall tissue, but the various tissues in our body, which increases the leakiness, obviously, of that tissue. For example, the stress hormone estrogen and even the so-called essential fatty acids acids, EPA and DHA, have been found to actually contribute to edema, which is the water logging of the cell or water retention, which actually weakens the vessels of the cell and in this case the intestinal wall, contributing to leakiness or gut permeability. This study talks about how the ingestion of fatty acids actually augments the basal and platelet activity factor inducing permeability. Basically what the study found was that the so-called essential fatty acids had a potent pro-inflammatory effect that can promote several of the pathological responses in gut permeability. It can cause a loss of fluid and protein from the vasculature, augments in vascular resistance, and an increase of mucosal permeability. Additionally, the loss of intestinal endothelial and epithelial barrier functions with subsequent edema formation is a consistent problem in the sepsis of multiple organ failure. So in other words, these so-called essential fatty acids, which do have overlapping effects to estrogen, can contribute to edema, and edema precedes inflammation, and inflammation ultimately degrades and breaks down the intestinal barrier, leading to leaky gut or intestinal permeability. So in the fewest words possible, one of the major causes, if not the major cause of intestinal permeability or leaky gut is inflammation. But keep in mind there are many contributing factors to chronic inflammation. As we just learned, estrogen and fatty acids like EPA and DHA can contribute to inflammation and the leakiness of the gut. But there are plenty of other factors that contribute to similar stressful and destructive effects that would break down the intestinal barrier. For example, chronic sleep deprivation can result in an increased rise of the stress hormone cortisol. And since the epithelial lining is made up of junction proteins, and really high cortisol can actually break down or catabolize proteins in the body, Elevated levels of cortisol from lack of sleep or even exertion exercise or aerobic exercise or really any sort of stress can catabolize the tissue that makes up the intestines leading to leaky gut. So the major causes or physiological imbalances that cause leaky gut stress and chronic inflammation. But again, there are many things that cause chronic stress and inflammation. So if we were to actually discuss every possible force and factor that contributed to stress and inflammation, especially considering the variable tolerance that people have to various stressors, this video would be a couple of hours long, if not more. So I think the important thing to understand is the underlying physiological imbalances that contribute to the leakiness of the gut. So anything that causes a chronic inflammatory or immune response or a chronic stress response would contribute to gut leakiness. And as we shared in this video, two prime examples of this or contributing factors would be chronic sleep deprivation in very intense cardiovascular exercise or just overexerting yourself physically in any way. So generally speaking, adhering to a low stress diet and lifestyle and also an anti-inflammatory diet is gonna be very beneficial systemically for correcting and preventing leaky gut. So this is stuff that we talk about in depth in our Perfect Digestion course. If you wanna learn the right types of foods, the various lifestyle habits that contribute to, cause, or prevent leaky gut, as well as herbs that can help, supplements, and even how to correct stress as a contributing factor to leaky gut from a psychological perspective, definitely be sure to check out the Perfect Digestion course to learn more. Otherwise, stay tuned for some future videos where we'll be discussing the various foods that you're gonna to want to avoid if you have leaky gut or if you're just trying to prevent it in the first place and avoid digestive issues. So we're gonna dive into some of the research behind the various inflammatory and stressful effects of particular foods and food substances that may cause leaky gut. But if you wanna learn a little bit right now, definitely be sure to check out this video. That does bring this video to a close. So if you've enjoyed it and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. 
Subscribe to the YouTube channel for future videos if you haven't yet already. If you're interested in referencing the studies I shared in this video, be sure to check the description box below for links to those. Otherwise, for learning more beyond this YouTube channel or for checking out the Perfect Digestion course, be sure to visit our online wellness academy, our blog, and Tonic Herb Shop, all which you can find in links in the description box below.